Overseas, U.S. President Barack Obama tells Islamic State leaders, you are next, as military operations against the group are stepped up in Syria and Iraq. This comes as Saudi Arabia announced the formation of a 34-state Islamic military coalition to combat terrorism. Vicky Wong reports. In a rare news conference, 30-year-old Crown Prince and Defence Minister Mohammed Salman told reporters that the alliance was formed to fight terrorism, which he has described as a disease that has damaged the Islamic world. Salman said there will be an operations room in Riyadh for the coordination and support of efforts to fight terrorism in many parts of the Islamic world, including in Iraq, Syria, Libya, Egypt and Afghanistan. Asked if the new alliance would focus just on Islamic State, Salman said it would confront not only that group, but any terrorist organization that appears in front of us. Some of the countries which have joined the coalition are Egypt, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, as well as Turkey, Malaysia and Pakistan. Meanwhile, U.S. President Barack Obama said Islamic State militants have lost swaths of territory they once controlled in Iraq and Syria. But he stressed that faster progress was needed against the group. This continues to be a difficult fight. As I said before, ISIL is dug in, including in urban areas, and they hide behind civilians, using defenseless men, women and children as human shields. So even as we're relentless, we have to be smart, targeting ISIL surgically with precision. He said ISIL has lost 40% of areas it once controlled in Iraq and continues to lose thousands of square miles of territory it once controlled in Syria. The point is ISIL leaders cannot hide and our next message to them is simple, you are next. Obama's comments came amid a stepped-up commitment of U.S. Special Forces soldiers to fight ISIL in both Syria and Iraq. Vicky Wong, ATV News.